They had to do it. They just had to sap the last bit of cuteness out of him before they completely slam you. <laughs> Star Wars. Hey guys, this is my review for The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 8, the season finale of Season 2. And this was a pretty cool, fun episode. I enjoyed the action, I enjoyed the drama, I enjoyed the little bit of kind of ooh at the end of the episode. But most of all, I think this is a really good conclusion to the Mando Child storyline for now. This episode has Mando and his entire crew going with Bo-Katan to go and take on Moff Gideon and get his little guy back. Aside from a little bit of an introduction between Bo-Katan's Mandos and Mando and Django, most of the episode takes place on Moff Gideon's spaceship with a lot of really cool, fun action scenes. Essentially, it's just the crew mowing down stormtroopers. And then when they find the child, Moff Gideon is just hamming it. I thought this was very interesting that the actor just chose to completely ham it. But this guy can't ham as much as other people. He's still too serious. He still loves being a villain so much. After his exchange with Mando, there's a cool fight scene between them. When he goes off to the bridge, there's this talk about the whole role of the Darksaber and the kind of effect it has on the rule of Mando. And all the while, he's just off on the side. Hey, you're gonna have to fight or <laughs> you're gonna have to do it because that's what the Mando Creed is. <laughs> he's just being a little shit, essentially. Like cousin whatever you had in your family who you would just absolutely loathe to see at family gatherings. That little fucker is essentially what Moff Gideon turns into by the end of the episode. We also finally get to see the Dark Troopers in action, kind of. It's one fight between Mando and one, which was a really great fight scene. I love it when it's punching him in the head and it's just showing the resistance of the Beskar armor, but at the same time, his head is probably getting like major, major fucking concussions going on. I did like how they were able to come back into the ship after they had gotten jettisoned. In the end, they kind of were overblown and especially with what happens to them at the end of the episode. Before I reveal the little bit at the end, I'm gonna spoil that at the very end of this review. I'm gonna talk about one issue I had with the episode being the lack of dialogue about the role of the saber and the kind of contradictions of traditions. Bo-Katan's looking at that saber and thinking, I can't be the ruler of Mando unless I beat the Mando for it. However, she was the one who was contradicting him about his kind of elitist, very radical ideologies of the helmet. But by the end of the episode, we see even the Mandalorian give up those ideologies. He realizes that the child is more important than his own self-serving ideologies. Bo-Katan doesn't really get that. We don't see that. And if anything, that's the only thing that we have as a small teaser as to what's going to happen in season three. Because aside from that, this season kind of ends really clean cut. It doesn't have anything in terms of giving us a hint. So overall, it's a really cool action episode. It definitely doesn't have as much heart and <gasps> as the season finale for the first season did. It thankfully doesn't have that really terrible joke part with Jason Sudeikis as the scout trooper, but it doesn't have that emotional weight nor that risk that the first season finale did. So in the end, I'm going to give this episode a five out of seven. I think it's a solid end. It's a fun end and it does have a pretty cool teaser at the very end of the credits. Make sure you watch all the way through because that was a cool little bit. But otherwise, it's not as a big grand finale of a season finale as the first one was, but that kind of is to be expected. And now for the spoiler bit. So if you guys haven't seen the episode yet, don't watch this part. The Jedi that we were all kind of wondering who was gonna turn up is in fact, Luke Skywalker. I thought it was going to be him when Ahsoka talked about it and I thought well the only major Jedi who's left is Luke at this point point. and they did that whole face image thing the youth thing and yeah it's a TV show budget so it doesn't look as good as the movies if anything it kind of looks like like a PlayStation 5 graphic it gets good but you can still st tell it's real fake particularly around the edgings of his face it's mark hamill it looks like it's just placed there and you notice how little they show his head literally they will show luke's body but cut him off right at the neck because they don't want to show his face as much as possible and he takes the child and they go off and the episode ends with them closing the door i did enjoy season two of mandalorian i thought the production value was fantastic they did make it really quick off of the first season though so the story does kind of suffer for that the longevity of it all these episodes are very fun to watch but the overall arc of the story is not as 
padded, is not as well thought out as the first season was, but the first season did have more time. This one was put together God knows how quickly. Quite impressed at how fast they made the second season. I do hope that maybe they get a little bit of time and they kind of delay the third season. At least don't release it again literally a year from now. Maybe take some time to establish what you want because you can only strike lightning so many times. But either way, I still had fun with this episode and I think you guys will too. I will be doing a season two overall review very soon. Tell me what you guys think about the ending because I'm kind of on the fence about it because I know that they're totally dipping into fan service now. They're very much dipping into fan service with Boba dad bod fat. No offense against him. It's cool to see him back, but I am thinking that they might be overreaching, but we'll see how that goes in the coming years. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.